with packs of dogs has supposedly been illegal for almost 20 years, although there are some exemptions. However, despite the ban, hunts are continuing with impunity. We've been sent footage of stags being chased on National Trust land involving people on quad bikes as well as horses, while on another hunt, it's one of the hounds which appears to be at risk. Our chief correspondent, Alex Thompson, reports, and be warned, there is some distressing footage. In a Somerset village, the Quantock stag hunt assembled last week. Business as usual, it seems. For months now, Channel 4 News has exposed how foxes continue to be hunted to death despite a so-called hunting ban. But here in Somerset, the same appears to be true for other animals, like red deer. Here too, a ban seems meaningless. Hunts like these run down a deer with dogs until it's exhausted and cornered. Then they shoot it. Dunkery Beacon, the oh, highest. That over there. Right that's over the there. highest point on Exmoor, and that's where I filmed the stag being done in. Graham Floyd, local man and former deer hunter, has monitored deer hunts here since they were supposedly banned back in 2004. He has footage from September the 14th on Dunkery Beacon. A stag pursued by men on horseback and quad bikes. It's the neighbouring Devon and Somerset hunt. This is all on National Trust land. Right. So this is one of the stags that was roused. When I say drawing just now, he, he's been drawn out. Right. Look. That young stag breaks cover and escapes. The hunt lets him go. Its target is an older, bigger stag. But using quad bikes or any vehicle to pursue a deer is a crime. The bigger stag breaks cover too, now so exhausted it can no longer even run properly. Suddenly a quad bike appears to hit the stricken animal. There, when that quad came to a sudden halt then, look, he's hobbling. He got, he got hit there. And then he couldn't go any further and they, they shot him. The dead stag is later loaded onto a vehicle in a nearby field. But it's not just deer hunting with quad bikes that is banned. This is National Trust land, where all hunting is forbidden. The Trust told us... It does look like what was reported to you was trespass. Stag hunting groups do not have permission to operate on Trust land for any purposes. If anyone witnesses anything that they believe to be illegal, we advise them to contact the police directly. Graham Floyd did just that. The police say they're investigating. It doesn't end there. For this moor being cut up by quad bikes and horses and disturbed by hounds is also a protected SSSI, site of special scientific interest. But let's return to that country pub last week where the neighbouring Quantox hunt was assembling. A stag, also filmed by Floyd, runs for its life from the Quantox hunt. Remember the heat wave? September the 7th, one of the hottest days of the year. The hunt had three hounds out that day. The law says any more than two is illegal. Gaping with exhaustion, the stag gets away over a fence. Then suddenly a third hound, previously unseen, collapses in a field. A third hound came out, which didn't look not quite right, as you can see. From the film, um, it was tottering. Exhaustion, injury, illness. The hound, now apparently unconscious, is eventually carried away. The day's hunting called off. The hunt master later approaches Graham Floyd. He's just been gored, isn't it? We're having a bit of a shitty old day, all right? He says the dog's been gored, injured by a stag's antlers. We showed the footage to several vets who unanimously said the injured dog should have received urgent medical attention. It's horrible to see an animal in that condition. We don't know what's happened, um, but that dog is seriously, seriously ill and really, really requires emergency veterinary intervention. The hunt told the police the dog fully recovered and never saw a vet. Whether that's x-rays or shock treatment or assessment for internal bleeding, that dog needs to be seen right now by a vet. The hunt did not respond to our request to prove the dog is still alive. The 2004 Hunting Act banned hunting with dogs, but there are vast loopholes. 
You can hunt a deer if it's injured, or you're observing and studying deer, or to prevent them from damaging crops or interfering with livestock. You can't use more than two dogs and you must have the landowner's permission. Neither hunt answered our questions. Instead, the British Hound Sports Association, the BHSA, gave us this statement. The Devon and Somerset and the Quantocks Staghounds managed the red deer of Exmoor and the Quantocks legally and responsibly. Once the BHSA has been able to assess the video evidence, we can determine whether there has been any infringement of the core principles of the BHSA. What nobody seems to dispute is that, as with fox hunting, law designed to ban deer hunting with dogs in theory allows it to continue in practice. That report by Alex Thompson.